Welcome to Empower Live. My name is Munif Ali, and I'm here to inspire you, train you, and propel you, your life, and your business forward in the right direction. In this particular video, I'm talking about material good can't buy happiness. Goods cannot buy happiness, or can it? So if you look around the world before COVID and post-COVID, things have definitely changed. I don't know a lot of people who are going out there and spending the kind of money that they were spending. And we really needed a reset in some aspects of our culture and society. People were living beyond their means. And if you look at how people conscientiously spend on things, they think that material goods or material bads in this case will buy happiness somehow. It's the shoes with the red bottoms, it's the $2,000 purses and all of those things that I talked about. It's the cars that I can afford. I don't know how many people drive Benzes but live in apartment buildings and not the apartment buildings they own. So being conscientious about why you think you need the material goods. Is it to impress other people? Is it to show them you're earning some money? See, I'm in the sales profession, in real estate in particular. And while anybody listening to this video can be from all walks of life, I don't know how many realtors drive Benzes and hardly close a deal a year. The average realtor makes $27,000 a year. That's not enough to pay for oil and gas for most of these exotic cars. So understanding why I need material goods to feel good about myself is essential. It's important. And you don't get those answers unless you really get inside of your head, of your mindset. What is happiness to you? Is, is it really the material good? Is it having the high fashion? Is it wearing a bunch of jewelry? Is it having gold chains dangling from your neck because all of a sudden that's your bank account? Why is it that you feel like you need it? Was it somewhere unconsciously done? Was it the way you were raised? Was it the group of people that you came up with? Is it friends? Um, I was telling you, you know, where I grew up, people could get killed for a pair of tennis shoes. And, and I've actually saw people get beat up for a pair of Nikes. I tell you, it's frightening how much materials mean to people. So really drawing inside and saying, what is going to make me happy? And as we get older, those things evolve. People, human beings are dynamic, but some people never grow out of it. Do you know your girlfriend or your, or your guy friend? Do you know of people within your family or within your circle? Everywhere they go up, they gotta throw that little purse on the, car, on the chair. They gotta bring that purse everywhere they go. It's sad that that purse is probably worth more than the money in it. So understanding the value of why people need material, and it's usually to overcome some type of inadequacy or insecurity that they have. So delve in deep and really find out, why do you want the material good? Is it because, oh, you know, I like the finer things in life, but I don't wanna work for nothing. I like the finer things in life, but you know, hey, it is what it is. You know, I'm driving the $150,000 car, but members of my family have nothing. Members of where I come from, you know, have nothing. The community where I come from. So understanding that you really, I'm not saying feel guilty about enjoying great things once you get to that level, but really understanding, hey, you know, it's no use in me driving a $150,000, $200,000 car that I showcase on Instagram when my brother or my cousin or my aunt has nothing in their refrigerator. So understanding that, that's going to definitely help you at a great point. I don't know why my mama is calling at nine in the morning. I have no idea, even though she knows I do this power habits, but I'm gonna call her, see if she needs something. That, that goes to show you, you know, perfection is overrated. We're just gonna continue. At what cost, at what cost do you want what you want? Do you want what you want so that you could go back to your family during the holidays and make other people feel bad they're not coming up to the standard or that you're doing so good? What is it that's driving you at what cost? Is it at the cost of other people's feelings? Is it at all costs? Am I going to go ahead and sell drugs or commit crimes just so I can live up here or have a standard? Am I going to sell snake oil? Am I going to be the kind of uh, salesperson that pushes people to do things they don't want to do just so I can turn a buck? Am I going to be the one that has no scruples and no morals and no integrity and just do whatever it takes? What is the cost? Because I guarantee you there's a cost to your heart, to your soul, to your integrity if you think that at all costs I'm going to do whatever it takes to acquire material goods. Understanding that if you peel back the layers and find out what you think is going to make you happy may not even make you happy. Get deep inside. Fulfillment versus gratification. See, everybody wants instant gratification. They want the boat, they want the car, they want the trips, they want the lavish lifestyle. But even if you get it, if you're not fulfilled up here, it doesn't mean anything. Honestly, growing up poor, 
and in poverty, I wanted, I wanted to be successful, but I never really tied it to material goods. I got materials as an instrument of success here and there. But the funny thing was, and I'll tell you, I was 30 years old, I was worth multiple millions of dollars, and I was not happy. Like every time I would buy something that was appealing to me, whether it was a car, whether it was clothes, whether it was a watch, as soon as I would acquire it, it was like I purged the feeling of the chase. And once I got it, I wanted something more and I wanted something more. And I didn't leave, live outside of my uh, comfort zone. I could always afford those things, but it didn't really give me happiness. And then when I lost everything, coming back around, I learned to appreciate more. Where I had like five watches, I only have one now and I barely wear that one. So really getting deep down inside. And I don't say these things to uh, impress you, but I say those things to kind of impress upon us that it's not the material goods that make me feel good. It is the sense of accomplishment. It's the grind, it's the focus, and literally it's helping other people get to where they need to get to. So understanding why you have these needs and really peeling back the layers will make you a better person. Not competing against a group of people or a person, but consistently competing against yourself to be a better human being. That's where the responsibility lies. Just because your refrigerator is full, don't feel good about it unless your neighbors is full, unless your relatives is full as well. I'm not saying don't enjoy things that drive you forward, but also learn to enjoy things, fulfill yourself and appreciate the effort and pay it forward. So I ask you, are you ready? Are you prepared? And lastly, unlimited? See, you can never have enough material things if that's the thing you're chasing. But being unlimited is about also sharing that with people that you love, that you care about, or even strangers. That $100 you were gonna spend on one thing or another, one day fold it up and go give it to someone that really needs it. And I guarantee you the reward that you have for yourself is going to be multiplied. Be unlimited in thought, be unlimited in practice, and be unlimited in gratification. Are you unlimited? Go get it.